Cultural Center of the Philippines Complex, also known as the CCP Complex, is an 88-hectare or 220-acre reclaimed property owned by the Cultural Center of the Philippines, or CCP, located along Rojas Boulevard in Metro Manila, Philippines. It is a mixed-use cultural and tourism hub overlooking Manila Bay in south-central Manila, most of which fall under the jurisdiction of the city of Pasay. Development of the complex was told until 2000 when the Philippine Supreme Court ruled with finality the CCP's ownership of some 35 hectares or 86 acres of prime real estate and the complex. The property is 62.4 hectares or 154 acres of land, with the rest being occupied by the Government Service Insurance System or better known as GSIS, the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, and the Privatization and Management Office. It is part of Bay City, formerly Boulevard 2000, that spans 1,500 hectares or 3,700 acres of reclaimed land along Manila Bay, which is occupied by the SM Central Business Park, Philippine National Bank's Financial Center area, Asiana City, and Pagcourse Entertainment City, among others. The complex is bounded by the Manila Bay to the north and west, the Philippine Navy headquarters to the northeast, Rojas Boulevard to the east, and Jose Jocno Boulevard to the south. It is divided into two zones, the Art Zone and the Commercial and Entertainment Zone. It features several brutalist structures designed in the 1960s and 1970s by Leandro Luxin such as the Tanghalang Pambansa, the Philippine International Convention Center, and the Sofitel Philippine Plaza, Manila. Other locators in the complex include the Coconut Palace and the Manila Film Center. The Tanghalang Pambansa, or rather known National Theater, is the flagship venue and principal offices in the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Formerly called the Theater of Performing Arts, it houses three major performing arts venues. One theater for the film screenings, galleries, a museum and the center's library and archives. Tanghalang Nicanor Abilardo, or Main Theater. Tanghalang Aurelio Tolentino, or Little Theater. Tanghalang Huseng Batote, or Studio Theater. Designed by National Artist for Architecture, Leandro Luxin, its design was based and expanded upon the unconstructed Philippine-American Friendship Center. The Tanghalan is a primary example of the architect's signature style known as the floating volume, a trait which can be seen in structures indigenous to the Philippines such as the Nipahat, being a work of a national artist, the brutalist structure is qualified to be an important cultural landmark as stipulated in the Republic Act Number no. 10066. The Tanghalang Francisco Balagtas, more commonly known by its original name of Folk Arts Theater, is a covered proscenium amphitheater is where popular concerts are usually staged. It has a seating capacity of 8,458 in 10 sections. The building was originally built to seat an audience of 10,000 and was commissioned by then First Lady Imelda Marcos in 1974 for the Miss Universe pageant, which was to be held in Manila. The theater was built in record time of 77 days in time for the pageant and was designed by Leandro Luxin. It was host to many popular musical acts of the 1980s onwards, including Puerto Rican group Minodo, British pop group Five, Janet Jackson, Gary Valenciano, and JR. The folk arts theater is also used as a site by different religious groups. Day by day, Christian Ministries, a large international religious organization, has leased the area since 2005. 
they have dedicated the theater as bulwaga ng Panginoon or Hall of the Lord. The building is expected to be torn down in the future, subject to the development of the complex. The CCP complex is also home to the following Philippine International Convention Center, Manila Film Center, Coconut Palace, Sofitel Philippine Plaza, Manila, Manila Broadcasting Company, Design Center of the Philippines. The Cultural Center of the Philippines was conceived in 1966 when Ferdinand Marcos issued Executive Order No. 60, establishing its board and arranging for his wife Imelda Marcos to become chair of its board of directors. The Philippine American Culture Foundation provided a 90,000 pesos grant for its construction and additional funds were taken from the Cultural Development Fund and the Special Fund for Education. It soon became the premier symbol of what would be called Imelda's Edifice Complex. Come, let us walk hand in hand and let us navigate together our very own cultural center of the Philippines.